Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the contrast on the image using two separate adjustment layers that will allow us to work selectively on the highlights and shadows. So when it comes to adjustment layer, I like to use curve adjustment layers. It allows us to work with the light in the very precise way. So I need two of them. Uh, one will be shadows and I can simply create a duplicate of this one by pressing command or control and J and the other one would be highlights. So what we are going to do on the highlights, we are going to increase the curve. If it would work without um, masks, which we are going to do, highlights would be around here. And on this layer, shadows would be around here. So now I want to work with the masks that will allow me to define the highlights and the shadows. So I could start from the highlights it's a little bit easier so i'm making sure the mask is selected then i'm going to image and choose apply image if we go this way and the layer as the source here will be merged we are merging all of the layers so as the result we are getting the selected mask on our layer where the shadows are represented by the dark colors and highlights by the bright colors. The blending always has to be multiply or normal, anything that will give us this uh, standard mask over here. So once we're done, we can hit OK. If that would be shadow, we can simply choose invert and then the colors will be inverted. So as this is the highlights, I'm going with this and now I'm going to press Alt or Option, hit on this and as you can see, white color will be the highlights, uh, shadows will be over here. If I want to apply this into the shadows, I can go the same way. I can also create a mask by going to the channels. As you can see, I can choose RGB, press Command or Control and hit on this and this will make the selection and go to the mask, then present command or control and I to invert the selection into this layer. And have a, let's have a look at the result. I'm going to press Alt or Option again. As you can see, the effect is inverted. I could easily do a step back. We can also invert this by making selection from here. So I'm showing you a few different ways how you can make selection and create a mask. So I'm pressing Command or Control, hit on this mask, go to the Shadows mask, then press Command or Control and I. And as you can see, the same as before. So now for the shadows, I want to darken this. I can grab some more here or I can grab it even in the middle because now the mask is uh, done selectively. So you can go from here, a uh, stronger effect, we go from here, something like this. So this is a little bit dark now. Then I'm going to highlights and on the highlights, I want to make them brighter. So this would be how I work with the contrasts. If uh, we are concerned about some of the color, for example, the red that we have over here, uh, maybe the products are a little bit dark. Of course, we can work with this uh, by making selection over the object um, or using the color range or anything else. I will try to do something like this. I'm going to use the object selection tool. So this is the new tool and I will try to select this object over here. Uh, it's not selected perfectly. I was hoping it could be a little bit better, but it doesn't matter. I can go with a quick selection tool and try to do a little bit more. So I want to go all over this, something like this. Here is not perfect on the top. I believe I could probably ignore this. I don't think it will be visible. So let's see how it looks like. Invert into the mask, but the selection is not as I want it to. I would prefer to make it white. So I could invert this now, Command or Control and I. 
and we can make it a little bit brighter so just like this but it doesn't look natural so what I would do here I'll just brighten up the right side here so it won't get uh, to unnatural we will not knock down the selection and I think here as I said it's not so visible so this is how I work on the contrast this is how I adjust the lights on the image of course uh, we need to make sure it all looks natural we need to make sure that it's uh, maybe not too bright so I'm not sure if I will go with these highlights over here but uh, this is how I do my work if I need to adjust the contrast in Photoshop